Hey everybody, today Rado runs through Steam Donkey, but before I get going, I strongly recommend you turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel so that when I make rules goose, you know what they are. And if you've done that, then welcome to Victorian England. It is the Diamond Jubilee of 1897. And to celebrate, we are hereby commanded to design the grandest and most opulent seaside resort using the latest wonders of steam technology, amusements, lodgings, monuments, and transports, thereby to claim our rightful place as the chief architect by royal appointment. Yeah. And along the way, we can get help from Donkey Boy, Madam Ice Cream, Lord Admiral, and Princess Royal. So, in case you can't tell, this game definitely has its tongue planted firmly in cheek as we set about in Victorian England trying to make wonderful seaside resorts. In this game, I am trying to develop Margate here, and as part of setup, I got the help of the Donkey Boy, which means he brought along his feral donkey. Okay. And Jen, meanwhile, my opponent... She is trying to build up Eastbourne, and she's got the Lord Admiral, who of course has a castle. So that is Jen's starting situation and my starting situation set. And uh, although at the beginning of the game, Donkey Boy is exhausted, but don't worry, he'll be back up and at him shortly. And finally, each of us gets a starting hand of, well, normally eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But the Lord Admiral with their castle starts with 12. So Jen gets one, two, three, four more cards than me. All right. So we are set up, but we have to find out what types of visitors want to come to our seaside. So this is the deck of visitors, and there is always one discard pile, or one card in the discard pile, and four additional cards the, of visitors who are on the platform. One, two, three, four, five. These five visitors are waiting to come to any of our various attractions as we start developing them. And as part of this random setup, we have a whole bunch of green visitors, which means they want to visit parks, and one visitor who wants to visit beaches, because they've got the yellow. There's also city folk who want to visit city attractions. <clears throat> Okay, so let's take a look at my starting hand of cards. I could build a hotel in the Green Park area, a zoological garden in the Green Park area, a public house or a theater in the Red City District, or down on my beach I could build a hotel. Oh, and then I've got a couple more greens, a bandstand, and a greenhouse. And let's see here. And then finally, another pub house. And also, this is an interesting thing. I've got these two public houses. One very important restriction to remember is, you know, these are worth points. This one's worth two victory points. This is worth one. I can only build one, or I can only score one public house in the red or city district. If I build both of these, that's fine, but I'll only score one of them. I won't get to score both. So that's something i got to bear in mind since I've got some duplicates here. I think, uh, did I have some duplicates elsewhere? Um, nope. Okay, well, it's all good. So, this is my starting hand of cards, and I am ready to start building up Margate, where I've got some specific goals. I can trigger the end of the game once I have filled 10 attraction spaces. I, I might have built more actual attractions, but I filled 10 of the 12 possible spaces here in Margate. And at the end of the game, I get four bonus points for each special card I built. Did I get any specials as part of the draw? Yes, I did. Ooh. Uh, that's because this visitor would go to any of them. That means this is a special card. This zoological garden is worth five plus four additional points. I definitely want to get that thing built. And I want to be on the lookout for other special visitors, which means they will have special attractions, which score me more points. Jen, meanwhile, working on Eastbourne, well, she's got to build 12, which means she has to fill all the spaces before she can trigger the end of the game. And she gets three points for every lodging. You know, it doesn't have to be a special, just a regular lodging. So that could score her a ton of bonus points, although it is tougher for her to trigger the end of the game. So I, it might be important for me to try to end the game as soon as I can before she can build up, because she has an easier um, time getting those bonus points. Okay. Although, if Jen wanted, she could have chosen this side of Eastbourne instead, which has a completely different set of requirements. And in fact, the game comes with a bunch of uh, cards. And while today we've got Donkey Boy and the Feral Donkey and Lord Admiral and the Castle, there was also Madam Ice Cream with her um, mechanical dog and uh, Princess Royal. Who brings with her the Royal Bank? But anyway, they are not in the game today. It's, uh, it's Margate versus Eastbourne, and let's go. So, I am ready. Now, on your turn, 
First of all, if you have a uh, exhausted character, they become unexhausted, so they are ready to go, ready to work, and I have to decide if I am going to use Donkey Boy this turn, which means he'll get exhausted again. Now, if he's exhausted, that means he's protected. Another player cannot take him from me or swap their special character with my special character. So if I want to hold on to Donkey Boy and I don't want Jen to take him, I better use him. And what does he do if I use him? He says I take the top discard pile and add it to my hand. I'll do that, which means I've now got plans for a tea room that I can build in the city. Hooray! Okay, and Donkey Boy is locked to me. Jen cannot take him. And there's always supposed to be one card in the discard pile, so now we've got a city hotel. Okay, so first you deal with that. Then, on your turn, you are either going to build um, attractions, which is what we're here to do, or you are going to try to entice the visitors on the platforms to come to the attractions you've built, or um, if you have visitors in your current attractions, you can send them packing and get them to pay up, which gets you more cards in your hand so you can, can repeat the loop. So, I want to start out by building. And remember, I want to build specials, because they're that, and I had one of them. It was uh, this zoological garden. So, maybe I should start out by building this. Hey, it's worth five points. It uh, can house up to three visitors, and garden people like coming here. And there's all these crazy gardeners. So, maybe I should get this thing built. Now, the cost to build this would require, since this is an amusement, which is what the steam donkey icon is, it would cost me three other amusement cards, which I happen to have. I have four amusement cards I could spend. So I would have to spend three of these cards to uh, build this. And so these cards just go into the discard pile. And I'd have to think about which ones do I want to get rid of. Now, didn't I have two pub houses and one was better than the other? So yeah, I am definitely going to... I'm going to build the zoological garden, which requires I give up three other um, amusement spaces. I will get rid of the crappy pub house... But I'll hold on to the good one. I'm going to keep that in my hand. Which means then I am also going to get rid of this tea room and this bandstand. Although, um, no, 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 it's fine. Okay, so these all went to the discard pile. And I have built that and I've held this in my hand. Now I should say, before I actually built anything, I first had to declare, where am I building? Am I building on the beaches, yellow, in the city, red, or... Um, in the park area, green. And obviously, to build this, I declared I'm building in the green area. That means I can build as many things as I want as long as they're green. So, do I have the resources to build this greenhouse or this hotel? Well, this greenhouse would need... It's a monument, and I would have to discard three monuments. I, don't, I only have one other monument, so I can't do that. This hotel requires I give up three lodgings. And I happen to have just one lodging over here on the beach, so I can't build that either. Now, to be fair, I do have the feral donkey, who's, who gives me a special power. One of my amusement cards, which is to say you know, the ones that have the Steam Donkey icon, can be considered a wild. So, strictly speaking, that means this hotel that I haven't built, I can consider this to be a, 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 a what do you call it? Uh, this, you know, a, a lodging. And so here's two lodgings I've got, but I would still need one more lodging to be able to build the hotel. So, as much as I'd like to build more, because we're in a race, because everything you build is worth points, or most everything. And, um, you know, the faster you build, the quicker we are to trigger in the end of the game. I can't build anymore, so I am done. On this turn, I was just shy, didn't quite have enough cards. I have built the Zoological Garden. And my turn is over. It is now Jen's turn. So let's take a look at Eastbourne. All righty. So first of all, the Lord Admiral wakes up. And Jen has to choose, is she going to use him this turn? Which means, if she is building this turn, she could build with two different colors. You saw how I was limited. I could only build greens. Um, uh, you know, you know, because I'd started building green. Jen could choose two colors if she activates Lord Admiral. Now, if she doesn't activate Lord Admiral, she foregoes that power, but that means on a future turn that um, if I choose not to use Donkey Boy, I might be able to swap Lord Admiral, and Jen might want that to happen. She might actually purposely leave her special character untapped, specifically so that some other player will swap with her because she really wants Madam Ice Cream, you know, or uh, Princess Royal, or what have you. But as it is, she, I mean, since she starts with so many more cards, 12 cards, I bet you she could get building in a couple different colors. Let's see what she's got. There's her uh, parks. Here's some beach front stuff, some city stuff. 
And now remember, Jen wants to build lodgings because every lodging she builds, which is this icon, is an extra point. Could Jen, using Lord Admiral's power, build two different lodgings? She probably could because, man, she pulled a lot of lodging cards. One, two, three, four. No, she only pulled four lodging cards. Uh, all these cards, I should say, here's everything that's on them. The color indicates where you can build them, in which section. The This icon indicates how many people it will house when you start attracting visitors. This is how many victory points it is, this is the type of thing it is, and this is how many of uh, matching cards you have to discard to build it. All right. So Jen would still like to get two things built if she could. She'd like them to be lodgings. Her hotel requires discarding three, but this guest house only requires discarding two. So maybe she'll build that. And then she has this city law. Oh, but these are both crazy expensive because they're worth a lot of points. Uh, these ones are cost four. Hmm. Shoot. So if she wanted to, if she wanted to build that one, she'd need to, uh, to give up four. One, two, three. In fact, oh yeah, she uh, does not have enough lodging in her hand because she's got amusements, she's got monuments, etc., etc. But hey, you know, don't limit yourself to that. She wants to build lodgings, but she could build other things. She could build just this cheap guest house because that only has to give up two. And let's say, let's say to build, let's say Jen is going to declare she's going to build in yellow. She's going to use Lord Admiral. She's going to build in two colors. One of them is yellow, and we'll come back in a second and see what else. So to build this guest house, she needs to give up two others, um, and. Hey, you know what? Since she's got two grand hotels, she can only score one of them. She'll use one of these to build it. And let's see, another lodging. She'll keep this other one for a later build. She'll get rid of this. So these two are going to build that. That's going to be the yellow thing she builds. And then she's still got all this other stuff. She'll build this down here on the beach. And she discarded those. And now she could keep building in yellow. And hey, she's got the Punch and Judy show, which isn't worth any points, but um, they all, um, and but it doesn't require discarding anything. So Jen will build that. She'll continue building in yellow. Now she has an amusement and she has lodging down here on the beach. And between the two of them, these can take on five lodgers who are looking for a stay on the beach, like this one and this one. All right, soon. Jen's not done building though. All righty. Um, and in fact, is she going to build any more in yellow? Oh man. Could she build more in yellow? She could build, she could build the Steam Donkey itself, um, which would be her second amusement, and it would stack on top of her old one. Uh, now, this doesn't get rid of the old one. It'll still count for in-game scoring, but it can no longer house three people. Does she want to build that, or does she want to build in another color? Um, well, let's see. What else would she want to build? I mean, limiting yourself to only one color means you're limiting yourself to the visitors you can attract. Maybe Jen should try to build something in the uh, parks because there's so many parks visitors. Like, say, this bandstand. What, uh, yeah, so Jen is uh, declares she is uh, using Lord Admiral to build in yellow and in green. So Jen is building a bandstand, which is an amusement, in her park. It didn't cost anything. So that's a green. Jen is building Punch and Judy on her beach, which didn't cost anything. That's the yellow. She's going to continue building yellow. She's already paid for the guest house. She has to pay for this steam donkey. No, she can't pay for the steam donkey because she doesn't have any amusement cards. Although, if she didn't build either of these... She could have spent both of these to build that steam donkey, um, which will house fewer visitors, but does give her victory points. Ah, But let's see, what else does she um, want to build instead? If she's not going to build that steam donkey and she's building in green, maybe she'll build a steam tram, which is a form of transportation up here in the park. You know, a, uh, Right, and that would require giving up two other transport cards, which she does have. This is a, you know, this is a steam train. Oh, and uh, although this one is better. This one is worth four points, but it's more expensive to build. She's going to discard this one plus this steam tram. So this is two steam trams to build this steam tram. So she built that in green. She built this one for free. She built that one for free. She built that. So Jen, on her first turn using Lord Admiral, has built four of the 12 attractions she needs to build. Wow! And if she could afford it, she could keep building. She can't build in red um, because she only declared two colors. But I think she'll be done with that. Wow, that was a big starting turn for her. And now Jen could start attracting visitors like crazy. She could hold one, two, three, four, although um, uh, uh, transportation are special, five, six, seven, eight, nine visitors in green and yellow. So that was the end of Jen's turn. Boom. Let's come back to Margate. See, my, uh, not quite as impressive. Although, my one zoological garden is worth five, which is more than all of her buildings combined. <clears throat> so let's take advantage of it. Now, first, I untap Steam Boy. 
and I decide, am I going to use him, which will let me pull a card for free out of the discard pile and add it to my hand, or will I untap him? Because then that means on a future turn, Jen might be done with uh, the Lord Admiral and might want to swap him out, and then I would get access to Lord Admiral's multiple power building. Well, seeing as how I don't have that many cards now, um, I don't think I'm going to be building for a while. So instead, on the, I will use Donkey Boy again, and that allows me to take the top discard pile, and I will put this Steam Train in my hand. And now it's my turn again, and once again, I can either build or I can attract visitors. And since I have no visitors in my current attractions, I cannot do the third step. So am I going to build some more or am I going to attract visitors? Now, if I attract visitors, I can bring in up to three park-loving visitors. And since I saw that Jen just built two places where she could attract park visitors, I bet you if I don't snag these people, Jen will. So I say, okay, you people get on the train and head over to Margate. And so I'm going to attract all three of them. Now, all I know about these people is, um, I, I don't know, all I know is on the other side of this, uh, this is an amusement, this is a monument, and this is a transportation. But I don't know anything else about what they are. I don't know what color they are. Just because this was green on one side doesn't mean it's green on the other side. I won't know until I eventually get to flip this card. But for now, I have decided this turn I'm not building. I'm attracting visitors. I will grab all the parks lovers, and they will come over here to my zoological garden, which is now full. And that was my entire turn. Okay, um, and at the end of my turn, we refill, and we've got uh, another beachgoer, and another beachgoer, and city folks. And Jen's like, no, no, there are no parks goers. And Jen built all those parks for nothing. Well, um, we'll see how well that works out for her. I am done. Let's uh, come back on over here to Eastbourne. And so Jen untaps Lord Admiral. She's not going to use his power because she's not going to do a double build right now. She could still attract people, though. It's just, uh, right, so she will. She'll start attracting. So Jen, like me, is going to attract folks to Eastbourne. And the Punch and Judy show will bring in three people. The guest house will bring in two people. So uh, let's have Jen, and, but they'll only bring in yellow. Let's have Jen start with this one. Because Jen's hoping underneath this is um, either another beachgoer, because she'd like to pick up five beachgoers and fill these up, or even better, a parks goer so she can pick it up. So she'll invite this person, and it's another beach person. She'll invite this person, and it's another beach person. She'll invite this person, and it's a parks person. She'll invite this person. Okay, so let's see. So far, all right. So, so far, she's got three folks. So the Punch and Judy show is full. And she's got one green, but she's not done inviting. You can keep inviting until there's nobody else who will come to your city or until you're full. So Jen still has room for two more. And so she'll grab two of these. And since they are all trans... Oh, no, no. This is a lodgings. So Jen needs to think about, does she want to take this lodgings person or this transport person? Because eventually, these cards will end up as your hand as blueprints for new things to build. And remember, Jen likes building lodgings. They're worth extra points to her. So Jen will take this person, and they'll go to the guest house, which can hold two. And with that, she'll take this one, which can go two. And Jen also got lucky and found one green in the station. So Jen could either have it come over here to the bandstand, and it will this person, these, this family or whatever, will enjoy this bandstand, uh, have lots of fun there. But instead, Jen will send this one to the steam tram. The transportation, um, there are four types of attractions you can build. And actually, the rule book has a really nice little summary. You can build on your parks, in your city, and on your beach. You can build amusements, lodgings, monuments, and transports, and you and you see, you kind of lay out your grid as a as a four by three, um, to, you know, to keep everything straight. So Jen has built a transport. Whenever you put somebody on a transport, they don't just sit around lollygagging, um, you know, like all these other people. They go directly into your hand. So Jen will take this. Um, you know, puts it here, and you can um, uh, a transport can only be activated once per turn. So you're gonna take this, and it will go directly into her hand, increasing her hand size straight away. Okay, so that was it for Jen. She also attracted some visitors, and it is now my turn again. Donkey Boy is up, and so I have a choice to make. Do I use him again to get this steam tram that Jen discarded, or I forget who? Oh, oh, what? Oh, at the end of her turn, of course, new folks showed up. There's always you always refill at the end of the turn. And so now, there are no more parks goers. Um, nobody, well, not that matters. My zoological garden is full. 
So I do want to get some more stuff built. I have a choice. This turn, am I... I can't attract anybody else, but I could build, potentially, based on the cards I've still got, thanks to Donkey Boy, plus I could get one more. Maybe I'll build some more stuff to attract some more people. Or my, this turn could be entirely devoted to taking everybody who has visited my attractions and saying, okay, that's it, folks. Go home, pay up. And they do. And that means these cards all get flipped over, added to my hand, because they represent revenue I got out of these people, which means I can use these cards to build other stuff. So do I want to, this turn, just add three more cards, you know, plus one, using Donkey Boy to my hand, or... Do I, uh, if I, here's my question. If I don't use Donkey Boy right now, if I leave him untapped, I could, well, if I want to swap to get Lord Admiral from Jen, I would have to be able to use Lord Admiral's ability, which means I'd have to build right now. I don't want to build right now. Certainly not with Lord Admiral's abilities, because i got a bunch of expensive stuff. I need more cards. And I can see what types of cards these are. I've got another Amusement, Transport, and Monument coming, which might help me pretty quickly. So, do I withdraw or do I build some more? And I don't think I can... Well, no, I can't... Yeah, I, I, I cannot build anything. I do not have enough. Even this uh, Steam Tram... Oh, I could, actually. I could spare... You know, what the heck? I'm just going to keep building. I'm gonna, Donkey Boy, go get me something out of the discard pile. And Donkey Boy gives me this. All right. So, I could attract now, get a bunch more cards in my hand, but I'm not. I'm just going to go with what I've got. Because I just got a second locomotion card. And so, that means I've got enough resources to declare I am building in red! I'm building in my city! And I'm going to build a, a city steam car, which means our, my park is up here. Here's my city row. Here's where I'm keeping my amusements. Here's where I'm keeping my, or the column where I'm keeping my trams. Now, I need to give up two. Here's the one I just got, uh, um, thanks to Donkey Boy. And I need one more. I don't have any more. But... Donkey Boy's Feral Donkey special ability is one of my amusement cards in my hand is wild. So, this uh, public house, which I was planning on building for two points, I'm going to say it's a wild. And instead, boom, that is the second thing I needed to build the stream jam. And next turn, Donkey Boy could potentially get this out of the discard pile for me, if depending on how things go. So, that was my turn. All I did this turn was build a tram which is worth two points. So I've got seven points now, uh, which is still better than Jen. And now I've got a place to attract all these city folk. Although it'll only take one, but those city folk will go directly into my hand so I can start building up for something more. That was my turn. It is now Jen's turn again. Let's come back to Eastbourne. And let's see, first of all, so Jen's got uh, four cards in her hand. I don't think she's going to build. She doesn't really have enough to do a very successful build. So Jen is once again not going to use Lord Admiral. Jen is hoping, eventually, that I will take Lord Admiral away. Because she is so jealous of Donkey Boy. But on the other hand, Lord Admiral gave her a big leg up to be able to build all this stuff right up front. This turn, Jen is not going to build. Jen is going to uh, um, t kick those visitors out. So all these folks who are hanging on the beach, they had a nice time. But now it's time to go home. And Jen converts all of them into cards that she'll be able to use to start building in the future. And just like that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cards. Jen is almost back up to her original hand of 12 cards. Next turn, she's going to start building like crazy. Okay, so that was her in Eastbourne. And it's my turn again. Donkey Boy is back. And as predicted, Donkey Boy lets me get that pub house back that I thought had been lost forever. Thanks, Donkey Boy. And let's see here. So, I could have had more cards, but I waited. I wanted to build up because now, if I attract visitors... Well, it's not so great. I can attract visitors. Um, this house is full, and I could say I'm attracting reds, but they'll just come right to my hand. Um, so, I think... I think um, I am. Am I going to attract a visitor? Let's see. See, here's the thing. I'm really on the lookout for special cards. If there were any special cards out there, I would just go on ahead and attract it, get them into my tram ASAP, because then that means they would skip the tram and, or the, uh, and go directly into my hand, because I want to build these, and I'd want to grab them before Jen grabbed them. But there aren't any that are available, so I think, like you just saw Jen do, on my turn, I'm going to use Donkey Boy, get the card I wanted that I gave up back, and now I'm going to attract folks, or I'm going to kick people out, so all three of these parks goers become new building opportunities for me as well. And that was my turn. It is now Jen's turn again. Here she is, and here is her hand. 
And so now, now that I've never taken Lord Admiral Frey from her, Jen might be pretty happy because she's got a big old hand of cards and a lot of options for what to build. And maybe she'll use him again. And I'll be, and I'll be too late because maybe I'm just to the point where I might want him. Um, but since I used Donkey Boy, Jen can't take him. So is Jen going to try and do a big old another super build? Well, it depends on what type of stuff she got. Especially because, remember, she wants more lodging. So far, she's only made one. Let's see. So she's got this beach lodging, a hotel, so which is different from her guest house, so they won't cancel each other out. Uh, she's got this grand hotel, which she'd like to build. That's seven points. And then a regular hotel in the city. And then, oh, she's got a guest house up there in the parks. So, maybe now is a good time to build. Yeah, I think Jen is going to use Lord Admiral and do another super build. First of all, she will build a guest house in the park, which only requires one. But it is a guest house she has to give up. So, which one will she give up? And, let's see here. She already has a lot of beachfront property to attract people, so she doesn't need to build more on the beach. She'll give that up. Right? Um, to build this because she only needed one. And now she's got more green. And uh, remember, this isn't worth one point. This is worth four points because of her Eastbourne bonus. All right. And, uh, right. So she declares she's building in red. I'm just actually kind of walking. I mean, she would she would figure out what she was wanting to build when it wasn't her turn. So when her turn started, she would already know what she's all about. But I'm just having to figure this out right in front of you folks. <laughs> You're being very, very patient. So she knows she wants to build in green. And there's nothing more. For, oh, no, she could build this uh, sports uh, sports ground, which would have to have her give up an amusement. Yeah, okay. So Jen's going to continue building in green, um, uh, and by replacing this bandstand or overriding this bandstand with this, she can still attract three. She has to give up one amusement, which will be this steam donkey. All righty. So and Jen could ki still keep building. But she's got no more green. So normally she'd be done building. But the Lord Admiral says, pick another color. And so Jen will pick another color. Ooh. Does she have enough monuments? No! Uh-oh. Okay. You know what? Maybe she doesn't have enough. She would need uh, three other monuments to discard to build this fun fair, which she would love to build. That's worth five points, but she doesn't have enough. Jen does not have enough cards. And her castle, which gave her more cards right from the get-go, doesn't really help her anymore for the rest of the game. Um, as opposed to me, my amusements can always be turned into wilds. So Jen cannot build anything else, having built those things. So I think Jen did not use Lord Admiral. She uh, chose to build only in one color. She got a couple more things built. She still got a nice hand of cards. And so, um, although she still can't attract any of these city folk, which is kind of a bummer. But, uh, right, but, but she'll live with it. She'll live with it. She'll live with it. All right. So that was Jen's turn. She just did a little build. Uh, but she made some points. Her city's getting closer to completion. And she is done. And now it is my turn. And so, here's the interesting thing. Because Jen left Lord Admiral untapped, I could take him now if I want to do a multicolor build. Now that I've got all, I mean, now that I've got a big, sweet hand, uh, is it even one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? It's as big as what I started with. And I would, if I'm going to build right now, I'd like to build more. So before I decide I'm going to do Donkey Boy, and again, I would have been doing this when it wasn't my turn. I'd like to build multiple stuff. Hey, I'd like to build uh, a, a tea room um, to s start getting some more red folks, which means I'd have to give up a, a single amusement, like, say, that donkey. So these things, uh, and, and then I'd probably be done building in red because, yeah, these are monuments and I don't have enough to build. I, I, oh, I do. Look at that. I need three monuments to build. I've got two monuments. Plus, I've got this, which means I could build that. So, th these plus this could let me build a greenhouse, which is worth five points. And then, um, I, you know, although that'd be a problem. If I overbuild my zoological garden, hey, this is ten points at the end of the game. But right now, now I can only attract one green visitor instead of three. I don't know if I want to build that. But hey, instead of that, I could go for four palaces and build an observatory to bring in two reds, since red seems to be the flavor of the day. Maybe that makes more sense. Discard these two plus this wild to build that, which means could I build anything else? Nope. But still, I could not build anything else. So I can't make use of Lord Admiral, um, but I'm just going to do Steam Boy, get another... Uh, uh, get another amusement out of here, which means now I could build multiple colors. Ah! Okay. So... All right, so this is where I started, and I am... Which means I still can, right? I'm going to build this steam room. Yes, yes, yes. Which I'm going to spend this steam donkey that Steam Boy just found for me to pay for it. All righty. 
So that's cool. Now I can bring in one, two, three red uh, visitors. And I am going to, what was the other thing? Oh, I was going to build this observatory, which requires me giving up two monuments. One, two, three, or I need three monuments. One, two, and then using the feral donkey, I will smash this uh, public house into, or, you know, this is uh, into a monument so that I can get that out. And now I've got nine, 10, 11, 12 points. Uh, worth of stuff. And I could start... Well, I still can't bring in any beachgoers, but now I can bring in citygoers like gangbusters. And that was my turn. And it is now Jen's turn. But you know what, folks? I think I'm going to stop right there because that should give you a pretty good idea of the ebb and flow of Steam Donkey. Um... It's uh, you know it, it basically follows a pattern. You build some stuff. You and uh, you and you try to invite people in, and then um, you know, you kick those people out, turn their money into more resources to build some more stuff while you're racing to get your main goal. So it sounds really simple, but the uh, finesse of the game comes in timing the right thing at the right time, anticipating what you think your opponent is going to do, and trying to beat them to the punch, uh, and then also maybe every once in a while juggling these special powers. Now. Um, um, I'm actually kind of getting into final thoughts. So uh, let's stop right there and say uh, that was the run through. And if you want to hear some final thoughts now, hit that I up in the top right corner screen. And five, four, three, two, one.